So you're wondering just how far that $400,000 budget will stretch in Seminole, Florida. Well, in today's vlog, we're going to get out, we're going to pound the pavement, we're going to check out three really nice properties and three great neighborhoods in Seminole, Florida. You're going to get a bird's eye view, we're going to take you inside um, so you can check them out. And we're just going to talk about what's going on in Seminole and, and what you can expect to find in that $400,000 to $500,000 price range, because I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. You know, we're not too far away from the beach in Seminole, Florida. As a matter of fact, one of the houses I'm going to show you is less than a mile away. Another one is just about two and a half miles, which is a seven minute drive y'all to the beach, which is pretty darn cool. And in case you guys didn't know, our beaches are amazing. So if that interests you, that is what we are all about. We are going to check out Seminole, Florida from the ground up. I can't wait to take you guys. <laughs> Hey everyone, Juan Alcala with the True Living Group here in Tampa, Florida. And if this is your first time to the channel, we make tons of videos, all things Tampa Bay. What it's like to live here, what it's like to work here, what it's like to play here, the dining, the outdoors, the beaches, and the sunshine. And if this is your first time to the channel, please take a second to hit the subscribe button and click on that little bell because we're going to notify you every time a new video like this comes out so it can help you decide whether Tampa is the right place for you or not. And the reason why is because we're getting calls from all over the country from people just like you. Um, who are considering relocating, moving, investing in Tampa, Florida. As a matter of fact, I got a Facebook message today from a couple in Germany who are retiring from the U.S. military and they want to move back to the Wesley Chapel area. So how exciting, what an opportunity to be able to serve uh, you know, our, our military veterans on the real estate side. We're excited. So however you got to get hold of us, whether it's phone, email, text message, Zoom call, whatever it is, when it comes to moving to Tampa Bay, Florida, the team here at the True Living Group has your back. All right. So before we head out into the streets and go take a look at these properties, I just wanted to give you guys some, some insights because you're probably wondering, like, why are people wanting to move to Seminole, Florida? Well, you know, Seminole's really conveniently located. Um, you know, we're just a couple miles away from the beach here. In fact, one of the houses I'm going to show you today has a pool and it's 2.4 miles to the beach, which is a seven minute drive, y'all. <laughs> That's pretty exciting. Um, and uh, if you have kids, let me tell you, it takes longer to usually get your kids in the car and then it does to get to the beach and if you don't have kids congratulations you can be to the beach and have your toes in the water in seven minutes i don't know nothing about that but that's what makes seminole a really cool place the schools are highly rated um you know it, it, it's got low crime and, and guys i'm i'm giving you this information, which you can find publicly. I'll put the links in it below. I am by no means steering anyone on where you should or shouldn't go, but I'm just giving you my experience and what you see. You know, Seminole's clean. It's a great place to live. People really have a laid back lifestyle. They're, you know, they're very excited to live there. And the reason being, again, is because, you know, you're, you're so close to the beach, but you have a ton of um, local amenities as well. You know, check out my full vlog tour of Seminole where we check out the city center and the parks. Uh, but you know, one of the things you're wondering today is like, well, okay, how far is my budget going to stretch? How far can I take that $400,000 price point? We're going to check out some properties in that range, right? Between $400,000 and $5,000. So you can really see uh, what is available to you within your budget if you're thinking about purchasing a home here in Seminole, Florida. And I cannot wait to take you guys out there. So come on, let's get to it. All right, y'all, I'm standing in front of the Seminole Recreation Complex, and you can see here behind me, it's a huge building. It's got a gym um, and all kinds of sports and recs activities inside of there. And also over here, you can see the, uh, uh, the municipal pool, and they've got a splash pad over there. It's beautiful, and this parking lot is huge, y'all. And um, they're doing music in the park here for a month straight. Uh, they do the, the Seminole Fair here every year. You know, the carnival, you can come down and get the elephant ears and all that business too. You got soccer fields over across the way. And this is directly across the street from City Hall. Um, and the other thing that's directly behind me is there is the St. Petersburg Community College K-12 
campus that is directly over here in Seminole as well. Again, lots of amenities, lots of access to just absolutely, you know, great living. Um, it makes it super convenient for everything. If you, you know, you got kids in college, it's a great place to go. If you got kids in high school, again, the schools are highly rated. If you want to go to the Lake Seminole and, and put the jet ski in the water or the boat for the day and go fishing, you can do that there. If you guys want to head over Park Boulevard, you're right on the Gulf Coast. You know, you can go hang out in the intercoastal. Um, you can do some paddle boarding, some wakeboarding there. You can just hang out or just go to the beach for the day, y'all. I mean, Seminole is an absolutely phenomenal place to live. Um, and now we're going to go check out some of those neighborhoods in the area. Um, I want to give you guys some insights and uh, some idea of what the homes look like, um, what you can expect to find in Seminole, Florida here. All right, so what I wanted to do now is give you guys some insights as to what type of properties you're going to find here in Seminole, Florida. And, you know, we're right off 86th Avenue where the high school is. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm in uh, uh, Oakhurst Terrace, which is, you know, a neighborhood that was built in this, mostly in the 70s, the early 70s here. And uh, right across the street from us now, we've got a, you know, a three bedroom, two bathroom, 1,886 square feet, I believe, uh, you know, split floor plan, meaning that there's, um, um, the, the main bedroom is away from the other two bedrooms. You know, two full baths. Um, this home is currently listed at 435, uh, so 435,000. And you know, it, it it falls in line with what you're going to see in this neighborhood. You know, the type of style home that you're going to see here. A lot of ranch style. There are some some two stories here, but most of them are brick or block, I should say, ranch homes. Um, they hold up extremely well, as you guys can tell. Um, you know, we're in a place that does have some pretty pretty extensive um, weather in terms of sunshine number one which is really hard in your properties and then also um, you know hurricanes and, and just severe weather overall but these homes are built a block and they tend to hold up extremely well and again this is a really desirable neighborhood being you know just a couple blocks here from the high school you know this is a place you know the, obviously you know there's a lot of families that live here in the area but as you can see the neighborhood's clean um, it's easily walkable it's a great place to go take your dog go for a run whatever it is but you know this style home is exactly what you're gonna find you know when you're looking in the Seminole area in that four to five hundred thousand dollar range uh, great property um, doesn't have a pool you know and, and I think for that for that price point you should be able to get a property with a pool we'll probably check one out today too another one here in Seminole same exact neighborhood here um, again we're just blocks away from the high school this home is a four bedroom two bathroom split floor plan with a pool and this one is listed at four hundred and seventy thousand dollars again I think this house was built in like 1974 um, you know this one's sixteen hundred and sixty square feet so it's a couple hundred square feet smaller than the last property we saw here but you know it falls in line again with what type and what style of home you're gonna find here you know in Seminole, Florida, you know, for the four hundred to five hundred thousand dollar price range, um, I think you'll find that this is a very, very attractive price point. Um, it's it's an easy entry ramp in terms of um, you know local prices because here in Seminole, you know, the properties range. You know, we've got properties you can get a two bedroom, two bath. Um, depending on what neighborhood, you know, at that high twos most of them are going to be mid threes uh, for a two bedroom two bath and then you know we've got properties that are close to the bay here that go all the way up to 2.2 million dollars so you know Seminole Florida is a it, you know you can find your space there you know so condominiums are available you know a lot of those by the lake and by the uh, closer um, to the intercoastal and, and by the Gulf itself but this is a great property if you're considering getting in on a price point with a pool for four bedrooms I mean awesome if you got a large family or if you love to entertain and have you know family in if you move if you're relocating from somewhere else to Florida you know having that fourth bedroom is awesome whether it's an office space that can be converted to a guest room or it's a dedicated guest room it's just a really really good opportunity to do that but at four bedrooms two baths 1660 square feet with a pool that's a great price point for the neighborhood so yeah on to the next
right, so we're here at our final home here. Uh, this house is listed at $487,000, and uh, it's a four bedroom, two bath, split floor plan again. This house was built in 1979, um, and as you guys will see, it's beautifully updated. Wait till you see the photos here. Um, they did an excellent job. Uh, and it's a, just shy of 1,800 square feet, I think 1,779 square feet. One of the things I love about this property is it's in this cul-de-sac here um, on a dead end road. And just on the other side of this, y'all, is the bay. So you've got access to the intercoastal just to the other side of this property here. There's a boat launch not too far from here either. So, you know, you'll see a lot of people in the neighborhoods who have boats because, you know, it's two minutes down to the water to put your uh, boat in either the intercoastal and catch out to the bay. Um, um, but yeah, at, at, at the 400 to 500 price price point, uh, these are the types of homes that you can expect to find in Seminole, Florida. You know, beautiful, you know, homes that, yeah, they're a little bit older, but, you know, some of them have been rehabbed extremely well. Others you're going to find still have some original aluminum windows, and I'm just going to be real with you guys, you know, um, there's a lot of second homes here, so people don't necessarily um, have a, a mindset of, hey, I want to to make all the fancy fit and finishes and not doing renovations on a regular basis, because maybe they use the property twice a year. You just don't know. So, um, um, you know, it's it's something to take into consideration when you're considering moving to Seminole, Florida or Tampa Bay area. Uh, but yeah, these homes are gorgeous. They held up extremely well. Again, they're all made out of brick and block and, you know, they're here to last a lifetime. So um, they'll be here long after I'm gone, that's for sure. So I hope that helped make a decision. Now you can see exactly how far that $400,000 budget can stretch in Seminole, Florida. If you've got any other questions, please feel free to put them in the comments below, or you can reach out to us again, email, text message, phone call, direct message, however you got to get hold of us when it comes to relocating and moving to the Tampa Bay area. Myself and my team at the True Living Group have got your back. And hey, one more time, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click on that little bell so you can get notified every Every time we drop a new video just like this and until next time go out and live that Tampa life.